Right, today I'm going to try and dis disassemble an ocean reef full face mask. Really, it's just for the cleaning purposes. Um, so, let's start by removing two straps. Um, and then we've got a screw in, I try to get this on the camera, ah, here we go, in here, that needs to come out, which holds this frame in place. So I'm just gonna pop that screw out. that done and now this frame will come off so the frame is now separated from the full face mask and from there I can remove the face seal you can see bits of sand and grit inside. Okay, before I do that, there's a clip that's holding the face seal to around the nose area. So, and there's two lugs either side. There's a lug, two, three, four. So they've got to be popped off so I'll quickly try removing those and see how that goes that's quite easy so one in there just gonna pop something to hold on the clip And another one there. It's going to be quite clip. That's one gone. Okay, that's that's reasonably easy to do. So all I'm doing. So I'm putting this in the slot and just levering that slightly over the clip on both of those. Doing one and then the other. Just going to cover that back up again. Okay. So now the clip, this clip here, which was holding on the on the face seal, and it clips onto these clips here and the face seal clips over there and it's clamped down onto the glass or the lens and then I can just simply remove the face seal over the snorkel attachment and that again has got lugs here and here oh, it's a bit too close here and we can see that lug there and that lug there and then we can remove the face seal completely and as you can see there's a purge valve here which can be replaced another purge valve here so these is a separate channel to the main channel 
and where there's a purge valve in here in the main channel so that you can see there's two separate channels um, and we'll wash that one out as well so it is a possibility that sand could get into the purge valve there so we'll just give that a quick rinse out and make sure that seals back again correctly and these look quite clean but they can be replaced fairly easy I think these would just pull off and it's just a simple purge valve on here so again that that's a relatively straightforward can be changed if required but we don't need to change them we just need to give it a good wash and a clean and get these bits of sand and grit out of the face seal so right I'm going to go and wash all this and I'll be back in a minute okay back from a quick wash all looks a little bit cleaner now and the inside of the skirt and everything is much cleaner doesn't look like there's any damage to it so we should just go back in reverse order um, I'm going to go over the snorkel attachment okay. let's move that down a little bit more so that the clamp is there onto the snorkel attachment as you can see the skirt the face seal is starting to attach correctly and on here you can see there's ridges on here for this to sit onto and then when we put the frame on there then that will be okay now this part here is just clipped up underneath here so we just need to need to fit this correctly here just so that fits nicely and you can just move your hands around the face seal and see that it's sitting nice and flush and we go back to frame and at the top of the frame we have a lug here up here lug here which will go into this groove on the on the full face mask and then we've got some ridges here which will go round and this edge here all the way round will slot hopefully very nicely under this ridge the top ridge here onto the face mask so should be relatively straightforward I'm going to start at the top again Wrapping the face seal underneath the white frame. I've used the white one because it's probably easier to see on the video. And we've got to get that ridge in the right place all the way around so that you can see that's now clipped into place nicely and around the top here that's now clipped into place nicely and then I'm going to put the clamps these under this nose bridge put the seal underneath there so that the there's 
black face skirt or face seal has clicked over the two plastic lugs either sides of the nose bridge and make sure that this is sitting nice and cleanly here around there and is being trapped by the plastic frame. Then I'm going to pop the screw back in and it's a star shaped screw so this one is a uh, T1050 so I'm just going to tighten that up onto there wants to be reasonably tight. Whilst I'm tightening, I'm just going to check that this stays trapped. This face seal stays trapped tightly by the frame. You'll find it much easier to do when you're not actually trying to do it on video. Right, so that's nice and tight there. I can see that's gone round there. Just got to check this seal here all the way around has been trapped by the glass and check this side as well so it all looks latched into place perfectly we didn't need to take this off but this does actually actually come off so the white bit can be removed the black bit stays in place and the purge valve is underneath the black piece so if for any reason you did need to take this off, this will, there's two clips either side there and one at the top. So we can, we can remove this, but the black piece stays in place. Okay, so now we've got to put this nose bridge back on and it clips onto the clips either side. So it should be straightforward this to just push back onto pl into place. make sure that the full face or the this face seal is trapped on the clips before pushing it in and it just clips back into place and you can hear it lock into place all fairly straightforward and simple and Everything looks okay. I'm just going to give it a good tug all the way around just to make sure that everything has been trapped into place. You can see it's all clean again. And I'm just going to, I can do a quick test on it now. All I've got to do is cover up the, the inlet from the snorkel, put the face mask on and breathe and it should obviously not let any air in so I'll just do this for one second and that's working well so there's no air leaks coming into there but I can obviously test it in the swimming pool just to be double sure but other than that we can put the clips back on and Relatively straightforward to assemble and disassemble. Just got to clean this, the lens back up again, take all my finger marks off. But other than that, that should be ready to go. Thanks very much for watching.